playing high and seek. Bitch niggas wanna catch me while I'm lying asleep. Reading up the coke, preaching to the boat, boat, serving that same shit. Shout out to French Montana, man. That's that classic DVD shit. Cocaine City shit right there. Super dope. Super classic to me. DJ Asto, man. Hit the like, subscribe, let me know what y'all think, all right? Rest in peace to Maserati Fox, too. He on that joint, too. Shout out to everybody from the DVD era. You know, that's my era. But let's talk about it, though. Shout out to John, John, the Don, and the team. Shrug Life, Bullpen, Pinnacle. Pinnacle card this weekend, man. Talk about two battles real quick. Then I'll talk about the full card. But this one right here is the main one. This is the main event. This is the main joint that I'm interested in and intrigued in. What are we talking about? Bad news versus Fonz. This should be a slug fest. This is going to be a slug fest. I can guarantee you. This battle is going to be fire. That's a guarantee. This battle is going to be crazy. Let me do a quick recap. Because I was supposed to do it before. Didn't have the time. Come home from work right now so you already know what it is, man. JC and Bad News was the last Bad News battle I watched. And that battle is fire. That battle is dope. Quick recap though. Two on one. Either my prediction and a recap of the last one. JC went first. JC's round was very strong. It was dope. But bad news was on his helmet. News was on his helmet. I gave news the first. I gave bad news the first. Second round. JC starts wilding. That silencer, I got a silencer. I'll say it twice. Add it, add it on. If you ain't saying it right, fire. Fire. He had an extremely fire second. Very fire second. But so did Bad News, though. Bad News second, he was cooking, too. For real, for real, he was cooking. Gotta give it up. He was fire. But... JC got that round. JC got that round. So we got 1-1 one, one going into the third. 1-1 one, one going into the third. JC's third is what I call one of them overall rounds. You're going to get bars, jokes, maybe a little bit of personals, a couple of little angles and shit like that. But a lot of bars and jokes, which I'm a lot... I'm a fan of. I like that. I don't think you need to be super serious the whole entire time. If you can make a hit though, dope. Big K. Other people have used jokes in the right way and made them hit. It's always gonna be bars over jokes, but you can use a couple of jokes in there and turn them into your punches and spires. And I ain't mad at it. But anyway. JC's third had a little bit of everything. He was funny at points. He had bars in there. Angled a little bit. Dope ass round. Bad news had a fire third too though. This battle is definitely a debatable. This battle is a debatable. But I personally edged it to JC. By a hair. But it is debatable. It is debatable. If I had to pick, I'm going to pick JC. But if I don't got to pick... I'm going to say 2-1. Either way. They both was cooking. So with that being said, News is not coming off a loss. He's coming off of a, an arguable, debatable win, if some people want to call it that. But definitely a debatable. With one of the most dangerous people in battle rap. Probably the most dangerous pen. Whether you want to see it's the best pen or not, it's definitely probably the most dangerous. But with that being said, news was cooking. 
Only thing is, Vaughn's has been cooking too. You see him smack Charlie's head off. He fucked Charlie up. Charlie got beat up. He beat Charlie up. Vaughn's has been dope for the past year and a half. Around there, he's been cooking. But bad news has been too. Last year, I thought he was fire last year. This year, he's having a dope year to the point I hope that J Black and Champion recognize that Bad News is having a dope year this year. Hoping he makes the list in some fashion, some way, shape, or form. He's on that Cody list. But he deserves it, in my opinion. Shout out to Bad News. But Vaughn's so dangerous. And his setups. We know he's a puncher. But them four to eight bar super dope setups. They be hitting with them punches and making them. It, it makes it hit even harder. Fonz is fucking fire to me. Dead ass. Fonz is fire to me. How am I calling this one though? I don't know how to call this one. Not so simply. I can't just simply just call it. I'm not gonna say, you know what? I got news winning 2 1. I got Fonz winning 2 1 clear. Nah. I'm gonna keep it tall. This is gonna be a bar fest. This is gonna be a slug fest. One gonna be punching, one gonna be talking, and a bunch of other shit. You already know the delivery and everything that Bad News is doing right now is fire. You already know that. What he's doing right now is super fire, right? Uh, hard choice, hard choice. If I had to pick anybody though, I had to pick anybody with no shade to none of them. I'm gonna go two one either way with a a hair's edge, a hair's edge. I'm a hair's edge to Fonz. Hair's edge, but it's really two one either way. I'm not really even picking. But I'm talking about gun to head, money on the floor type shit. I'm gonna edge it to Fonz, but I ain't got no gun to my head and I ain't got no bread on the floor, so it's two one either way, and that's how I'm calling it. This gonna be a bar fest. This will be the battle of the night. This definitely will be the battle of the night. Well, this should be. On paper, that's how it's looking. But that's how I'm calling it, man. Hit the like, subscribe, let me know what y'all think. Next up, Rosenberg Raw versus Loso. We're gonna talk about it, all right? But this block, you got a prediction and you got a recap, two in one, all right? Shout out to JC. Bad news, fire battle, definitely debatable. And Fonz and bad news, I think it's gonna be debatable as well. Definitely see a bar fest though, in my opinion. Hit the like, subscribe, let me know what y'all think, alright? DJ already, man. One.